Welcome back, everyone, to Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube. Significant news yesterday from the Big 12 with the Texas Tech Red Raiders. This happens to be a major loss for Texas Tech, who will now lose their number two score from this past season with guard Davide Moretti. It was announced on Saturday night that Davide Moretti, who is a native of the country of Italy, is leaving Texas Tech to pursue a professional career overseas in Italy. It's reported that Moretti agreed to a multi-year deal with Olympia Milano of the Serie A Basketball League in Italy. Now I'm shocked here about this news story that broke late last night. Not shocked, however, about where Moretti will be playing next to the native country of Italy, but I really enjoy this playing style. Super duper fun to watch him play college basketball, so this is just really sad to me here to not see Davide Moretti playing college basketball anymore. It's I uh, wish him the best of luck here in the future. But Moretti, he started 68 games this past season for Texas Tech. He averaged 13 points per game, 2.3 assists per game during his junior season. In his three-season career, Moretti was a 90.6% free throw shooter at the line. He was ranked number eight this past season in college basketball free throw shooting percentage. As well as being a tremendous free throw shooter, he's also uh, shot the ball pretty well from behind the arc during uh, throughout his career. As Moretti shot the ball just under 40% from three-point range. He had 15 points in the 2019 national title game versus Virginia. He also dropped down three three-point shots in that game. And also, his career high was from this past season, 25 points in January against West Virginia, where he went four for five from behind the arc and a perfect nine for nine at the free throw line. With Moretti's departure now from Texas Tech, the Red Raiders still happen to be really lucky that they have two solid returning guards for next season. These two players should indeed take the step up as the Red Raiders are expected to bring back their number three and four scores from this past season with guards Kyler Edwards and Terrence Shannon. Shannon has the chance to break out as a sophomore. He averaged 9.8 points per game as a freshman this past year. And also Kyler Edwards should have a major impact as well. Guard Kevin McCullough will also be back. He averaged six points per game last season as a freshman. And head coach Chris Beard working the transfer portal there. As he was able to add in a key transfer with Joel Tomway from UNLV at the forward position. There's still uncertainty, though, with next season whether VCU forward here, Marcus Santos Silva, will be eligible next season for Texas Tech. But that will be massive if he is. All Santos Silva has to do is pass his summer classes which would move him from a sit-out transfer, upgrade him to a grad transfer status to be eligible next season, which will be huge for Texas Tech to help out a ton as they are in desperate need of Santos Silva's rebounding and low post scoring help. But Texas Tech also, key recruits coming in, two top 35 recruits coming in as freshmen for this upcoming season with shooting guard Namari Burnett as he is a five-star recruit and also a four-star recruit with a forward with Micah Peavy. Texas Tech happens to be one of five teams as well to have the chance to grab this player. The best prospect from the class of 2021, as his name is Jonathan Kumunga. Jonathan Kumunga here might reclassify over to the class of 2020. Texas Tech is one of five teams in the running. And they also happen to be one of seven teams in the running to possibly land Mac McClung out of Georgetown as McClung announced his final seven programs as they are down to Texas Tech. Auburn, Memphis, USC, BYU, Arkansas, and Wake Forest. McClung, however, will most likely be a sit-out transfer because he's only played two seasons at Georgetown. Still has two more seasons of eligibility, but I'll keep you guys posted with what happens in the future decisions of Kumunga and McClung in the future. But the big announcement from last night, shocking announcement here with Davide Moretti announcing that he'll be leaving Texas Tech to play basketball in Italy. Just another unfortunate blow for the Texas Tech Red Raiders, as now they'll lose their number one and number two scores, with Jemias Ramsey heading to the NBA draft, and Moretti now heading out the door to play basketball overseas in Italy. Just really sad to see Davide Moretti leave. Really liked uh, watching him pl uh, play, enjoyed his playing style, and just a fun player. Here, so I wish Davide Moretti the best of luck in his future. But thanks so much, everyone, for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. As this is Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube.